In this FL Studio tutorial, I'm going to show you how to easily make your own vocal chops using Vocatcher, which is a patcher preset inside of FL Studio. Vocatcher actually controls Harmer, which is FL Studio's flagship synthesizer. I've already done a tutorial on how to manipulate Harmer using the patcher presets inside of FL Studio. Definitely check out that video for a brief overview of all of the different patcher presets that we'll be using in this series. But let's jump right into Vocatcher. In order to load this up, all you have to do is load up a patcher inside of your channel rack, and then inside of patcher, go to presets, go to XY Labs, and click on Vocatcher. After that, I recommend going into the map here. Let's extend this out, and you'll see Harmer hidden right here. Just go ahead and double click that, and then go back to your controls. And now you can see exactly what Vocatcher is manipulating inside of Harmer. I'm going to go to the effects section here so that you can see everything that Vocatcher is manipulating. Let's listen to what this sounds like without changing a thing. <laughs> So Vocatcher is actually using the imaging feature inside of FL Studio. So it has this audio that it's sweeping through and then it's looping right here. So that's how we're getting this vocal sound inside of a synthesizer. For this first knob, I recommend leaving this all the way up. All it's controlling is the auto gain function inside of Harmer. This is one of the other things that sets Harmer apart from literally every other soft synthesizer out there. This auto gain feature is awesome because it lets you listen to the sound at exactly the same volume as you adjust settings. That way you're not just getting a louder and louder, louder sound every single time you adjust something thinking that it sounds better when it might actually sound worse than what you just did. So that knob is clutch. I'm not sure why it's not on literally every synth right now. Moving on, we have harm, which is adjusting the harmonizer. And you could hear a metallic type sound come in as I increase that. We could do it even more inside of the harmonizer section inside of Harmer. especially if we increase the strength. From there, you can adjust the shift and the gap with the offset and the steps of your harmonizer. Like that right about there. Let's increase the vibrato, which will make the frequency of the pitch go up and down. The cut is your cutoff, so this will darken the sound. The unison is referring to the unison section inside of Harmer, and we can thicken the sound with this knob. I like it right about there. With the humans knob, this is actually adjusting the legato time. It adds a little laziness to your legato. And it'll be more consistent without it. I like it being more consistent. Next we have chorus, and this will absolutely thicken up the sound as well. Then you have basic panning. Then on the right side, we have grit. And all this is adjusting is just your prism. And what the prism does, it actually spreads the partials apart. If you don't know what the partials are, partials are just literal sine waves that are being repeated to build up the sound within the frequency range. That might be over your head, but either way, just listen to what this does. I'm 
one day I'll show you what that does, but for I don't want to confuse anyone, so I'm not going to do that right now. But you have different modes. You could choose between adding or multiplying. Right now we're on adding. The multiplying will be more dramatic. <laughs> actually like it right there then we have the phaser and this is just controlling the mix amount of the phaser but I always recommend going in and changing the phaser settings itself <laughs> Next we have the format and that's actually controlling the image section here and it's the mix knob right here. This is the one knob that I'm not entirely sure um, what it does. I'm listening and I really hear no difference. I'll get back to you guys about that knob in the comments once I figure that out. It's just one of those things, if you change it and you don't hear a difference, it probably means because there's another setting that you have to adjust to really hear what's going on. If it is doing something, then that it's not important enough for me to care about, at least with my workflow. Moving on, we have the resonance. <laughs> which is literally just more resonance on your cutoff filter. And then you have a doubler. And then you can add delay and reverb. Funny enough, the delay and the reverb are actually referring to the fruity delay here. Oh, I just found where the doubler is. It's the uh, fruity stereo enhancer here. And our reverb is the fruity convolver here. So you could switch out the impulse response if you have a library of impulse responses. And then last but not least, we have overall panning. You have compression. Turn down the volume here. And then you have stereo separation. It just makes the sound wider for you. One last tip to push Vocatcher even further, try using this with other presets. So right now I have this string pluck pulled up. If 
you have any questions about Vocatcher, Patcher, or Harmer, definitely leave them in the comments down below and I'll be sure to answer them in the upcoming videos. I have one more video left for the Harmer Patcher series and that will be covering the Wobbler inside of Patcher. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.